Hello fans, viewers and subscribers. I am back after a long, long break. Um, my name is Ruku, for those first time joiners and some of my new subscribers. Um, it's, I've taken a bit of a break from drinking beer and uh, going to different countries. So now I'm back and I'm starting up again. Um, not for very long, but I will be. So today I'm looking at a beer, uh, and I'm not sure how you pronounce this. So I'm going to have a go. Kaztelan. Uh, this beer is from Poland. The reason why I, I like this because this guy here, he just looks like a Polish dictator. Uh, I don't know who he is or even if it's a real person or fictional, I have no idea. Um, there's not much about it except that I do know that apparently it's brewed from natural ingredients. So there you go. Uh, a 500ml can. Let me just pick it up there. 5.7. Can you get that? Just there, look. 5.7 so there you go I know nothing about this beer uh, first time I've ever tried this beer so I'm quite intrigued didn't even know this beer existed until today right there you go that's the full 500 right then the colour is of a sort of honey colour honey golden colour which is nice small flowing bubbles and you can see them going up the side of the glass there quite streaming very good the head is decent, it's, well to me that's tightly compact bubbles, decent foamy looking, yeah it looks it looks alright, it looks a bit pilsnery, uh, between a pilsner and a and sort of everyday standard lager at 5%, so I know the Polish have got a renowned um, way of having strong beers and uh, to be fair none of their beers are really crap actually, the majority of their beers are very very good. I can't say I've come across a Polish beer yet that I haven't liked, so yeah, let's get on with this. Looking forward to this, so I'll start with the smells, see what I can sniff out. It just smells fresh, it's very just fresh. Very light grain smell. Just yeah, just a fresh sort of grain smell. There's not real a lot of smells coming out of this, but hopefully the flavour will taste better than it smells. So here we go. Let's try this. Okay, not too bad. First up, the head is very good. The head is sweet. You can feel the bubbles in the mouth and it's very tightly compact even in the mouth. And it's it's got a foamy consistency that spreads throughout the palate. The beer itself is a little bit dry in places. Comes across to start with as a little bit watery. Then you get like this dryness, but at the same time you get like a sweet blend between uh, hop and malt, I think that is, with a little bit of grain as well. Mm. Yeah, very soft, um, quite refreshing. Very soft tasting in the mouth, it's very gentle, very easy, very lazy. Um, carbonation wise in the mouth, very sort of lively-ish on, on parts, you know. Once you get through the head, the beer itself isn't very carbonated that greatly. <coughs> oh, hey, there you go ladies and gentlemen. My first burp of coming back, so there you go. As I always say, if I burp, it's a sign of a good beer. So, uh, there's not much really I can tell you about this beer, but I, I just, yeah, again with the Polish, this is typical. I think that translates to don't drink and drive, so the Polish are very, very good at that, just letting everyone know that you shouldn't be drinking and driving. Tell you what, I wouldn't like to be drinking and driving on their beers, as they are so strong, you'd probably end up killing yourself. In a car accident, that is. But anyway, the beer itself is, again, now on the aftertaste, I'm getting a dry maltiness, um with a, a slight sort of sense of sweetness. Mm. 
Mm. I can say it's not too bad, actually. It's kind of up there with Tisky and Zwick. Um, yeah, sort of around that era. Very pure, very clean, basic flavours. But it's it's you can tell this is a natural beer. There's no shit putting put in this. The taste is is yeah, natural. And I I know a natural taste in beer when I taste one because obviously I have brewed my own beer and I have done quite a few times, so I know what it roughly tastes like. But there you go. Lacing's very small, minimal, uh, very clean on the glass. Again, no, you know, just very clean and basic. So there you go. I just want to get in depth again. Just for you fans and viewers. And the head there is... The head is probably the best bit of this beer, to be fair. It's a uh, very nice nice feel to it. Uh, right, what would I... What would I say, uh, well, what would I give this out of 10? <coughs> <laughs> Second burp. There we go. We're on to something, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know what I'd give this. It's everything I like in a beer, to be fair. It's naturally brewed, it's decent hair, decent colour, decent carbs. The only thing is I'm not too sure, taste-wise. It's good tasting, don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure it's. Uh, I could fall in love with it. But what would I score it? Do you know what? I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. I'm going to be a little bit above average for this because I'm still not too sure. Maybe in time, if I drank a few of these over time, I'd, I'd, my taste buds would adjust. Um, being the first beer I've had in a while, so yeah, about six and a half out of ten, I think, from Poland. Stay tuned, and I'll be doing some more beer reviews from different countries, and I've got uh, a couple more from Poland, and uh, yeah, I've got some interesting stuff coming up, so... Stay tuned, and if you like and subscribe my channel, please come back and view some more. I'll be glad to have all my viewers back again, and uh, I welcome all newcomers. So, until next time, fans, thank you for watching, and uh, join me next time for another beer.